Hello everyone. We are participating in the Texas Instruments India Analog Design Contest 2010. Our project is anti-collision system which works in rain along with wiper speed control. Our team consists of Mr. Divakar Lab and Mr. Rishi Hora. We are the students of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering at Guru Tegh Bahadur Institute of Technology, New Delhi. We are affiliated to Guru Gobind Singh in the Prasta University, Delhi. We will now show you the demonstration of the anti-collision module which uses laser. It is based on the principle of optical communication. The anti-collision module has a laser pointer. The laser pointer acts as the laser beam transmitter. This is the laser pointer. The laser beam is transmitted in the forward direction. If there is an obstacle in front of the vehicle, the laser beam is reflected back. And as it is reflected back, it is sensed by the receiver circuit. The receiver circuit receives the laser beam reflected from the obstacle and the red LED glows. You can see the red LED is glowing. The glowing of LED confirms the presence of obstacle in front of the vehicle. A warning message can also be generated on the LCD screen to caution the driver about the obstacle so that he may get careful. If there is no obstacle in front of the vehicle, the laser beam will not return back to the receiver and the LED will not glow. You can see the, though the laser beam is being transmitted, it is not returning back and the LED is not glowing. Now let's concentrate on the components used in this module. The red laser pointer has been used in the transmitter circuit. Its wavelength is 650 nanometer and output power is up to 5 milliwatt. The receiver has also OPT101P. The OPT101P is a photodiode IC from the Texas Instruments Limited. After photodiode IC, OPAM OPA277U has been connected. OPA277U is again the OPAM IC from Texas Instruments Limited. The first two op-amps acts as the amplifier for the signals received and the last op-amp acts as the comparator. The output of the comparator is given to the LCD module which generates the warning. In the LCD module, MSP430G2231 IC is there. This is the microcontroller IC from the Texas Instruments Limited. MSP430G2231 from Texas Instruments have been interfaced with LCD. The LCD module along with the anti collision module will avoid accidents. This whole anti collision module will avoid collision and decrease the number of road accidents effectively. It is also cost effective. This is the setup for the wiper speed control system. It consists of this infrared based water detector which has been constructed with the help of a phototransistor IC from Texas Instruments OPD101. It also contains the MSP430G2231 microcontroller from Texas Instruments. This MSP430 launchpad also from Texas Instruments. This wiper driver circuit, the wiper motor and the wiper mechanism. Now I will explain the working principle behind the IR based water detector. This consists of an IR diode which sends IR rays to the plastic which totally internally reflects from the outer surface of the plastic and reaches the receiver which is a phototransistor IC OPT101 from Texas Instruments. When water is present the critical angle at the outer surface of the plastic changes. This difference in critical angle is used to detect the presence of water. Moreover the droplets also increase the surface area for the reflection of IR rays. When water droplets fall on the surface the green LED on the MSP430 launch pad lights up. This indicates the slow speed. When even more water droplets are sprayed, the red LED lights up. This indicates a high speed. The output from the microcontroller MSP430 G2231 is used to drive these relays with the help of these two opto isolators. And these two relays in turn control the different wiper speeds. Now for the complete demo. As soon as water droplets are sprayed, the wiper is activated. And on further spraying of the water, the wiper is activated at the highest speed.